Hello, welcome back to another video, or welcome to another video. Behind me is my dad's 2023 Mitsubishi Trident, and today we're going to put a snorkel on, to it, on it. So let's get started. So these are all the parts, all nuts, bolts, washers, screws. Then we got this actual snorkel, quite nice. Uh, what do you call this? What do you call this? What do you call this? Do you know what you call it? Tube. Tube. It's like a nail part. In a tube goes from the filter to and attaches to the back of that. Yeah. Now this. Now this is on the right hand side, so we're gonna drill a hole on the right hand side. The well of like the engine. There it is. Nice front. The way to step four. So we just screwed these on here onto the filter part and then this on here. So just make sure you take the mud flap out, so just unscrew there and you'll take take this um off. But once you got this out, that that air tape thing. I don't know. And then that. Next thing is to tape the area where you want to cut the hole. Oh yes, and it's masking tape. If you're wondering what tape, masking. So see there, we got the area where um where we want to cut, and yeah, this <laughs> as a guard. I could use a center punch, but. We don't have one. Lovely, lovely. From there, and that takes you to the M12. Now we're just drawing lines between the area where we're going to do the hole. Hmm. So yeah, you just outline it with um, red paint pen, like whatever color your car is. yeah, whatever color your car is. It does say you spray, but we're just using pen. This will protect it. Yeah, this will protect it. Like whatever you color your car is, do the color. Don't do red if it's white. You're not gonna see it, but yeah. I just like doing it that way. Yeah. Bit more professional. So yeah, now the next step is um Yeah, there you go. Oh god it fits. Lovely. There we go. Hey, it's the next day. Uh, yeah, we stopped last night, but we're going to film some parts that we might have missed in the video. Okay. So. Find that little sucker clip on there. 
just have to pop those two clips out there, pull her off. Don't drop them because the hands are fucking nice to get out yeah, unless you have hands small little fucking baby. <laughs> and do this. Apparently there's five bolts in this guard, like fuck, I can't get to the other ones. You need to be a fucking magician. This is enough just to get get it open. I love this little thing. There's um, a snorkel by the way. This is enough to get it open. Just so you can pull the guard out to get this other thing in. It does say it's tightened that up last, but I've already done that. Yeah, there's a little um hook thing here, like give it some sport some sport <laughs> support. So yeah, so it stays up there. Uh -huh. Top of the wiring harness, which is just awesome. I don't think in the instructions it actually tells you to put this back together, but you do actually have to put it back together. So I'm just going to stick it back together now. And all I do to get the guard in the right spot. And they too will have to buff them out. Even though it's daytime, can't see it. Yeah, it's a pretty dark, rainy day, but isn't it? Yeah. Tighten that up, that's just going into plastic so don't get stupid and tighten it down. Talk these up the same as the others. Click, <laughs> click, click, click. Um probably has talk specs for all that, but it doesn't in these instructions. I just throw this back on. God, so don't drop these down into hell. They definitely made these cars are definitely made for people with extremely small hands. Um, so we just slide them onto those little white things again. The other one seems to fit a bit neater, but push that in, clip that in. those have been pushed out too, they're sort of a little bit harder to get in. Push that in, that's done. Okay, so the next step I think is oh, yeah. bracket. Very nice. Yeah. So this little sucker fits up over the top of that. It's got a little nut welded to it. Thank you Mitsubishi for making me so long. <laughs> okay, well that took forever. I believe our next step, which is amazing, is you actually rivet these onto there. Rivet this one onto there. So basically that goes over the air intake there. <laughs> pulls it in tight so now see how there's a you can't really see it there's like a raised area there you get that so there's actually like a you can sort of feel it there's like a raised section there and a raised section there and this has to go to the center of that Which is easier sort of said than done too. Oh, that's, that's covering the air intake, so 
just gonna mark them like that. And that's where we drill it, but. It's perfectly. Can you grab us the paint pen, the red paint pen, please, Papa? Nonsense, might as well fucking. Might as well do it. Oh dear, that's no good. Oh, oh there she comes. <laughs> These pens are terrible considering what you pay for them. I'm not telling you the brand. <laughs> don't want to get fucking sued. That little drill's a little lifesaver, but. Unless you push it to its limits and melt its insides. You can try and put the smoke back inside it. That didn't work, so... Well, you, nice. try, you tried that? So that's a brand new one. <laughs> you tried that? Yeah. yeah. You catch the smoke and put it back inside. <laughs> but you probably don't really have to worry too much about this because it's got rivets going in it and you can't get up inside anyway. So be careful, I'd use those bits. It says five mil, but that's four mil. It still fits. Because you don't want a drill bit. Um, you don't want a drill bit. Where the hell's the hole going? started to She just tighten them afterwards. Don't go in any deeper. You know, there's lots of goodies are up in there for you. Where's the old rivet gun? Oh, lucky they gave us four. I guess if they shoved a spare one in every single one, it could cost them an extra buddy. 20 cents a year. <laughs> if that. Ah, push that right up against there. That's what I feel, I wonder if you should have a bit of silicon or something on these, but... There's a little bit of rivet gun there, eh? Put that on the concrete so it can go through our fucking tyre later on. That's good. I suppose these are all covered up too, aren't they? Now, I believe... So, Bubba, do you want to get us a... Just grab a 13 mil socket and just tighten those little suckers up. They got a nice little rubber mount in there, so for movement. Click. <laughs> Click. So. All I did was make sure the foam's hard up against everywhere so it can go through. But these aren't designed for underwater anyway, they're just for airflow. So, so they're riveted in, which is riveting. <laughs> uh, 
riveting. So then we tighten those two bolts up. It's an M, M8 bolt, so it's a 13mm socket. And oh, then we go and install those two up the top, which I did ages ago anyway. <laughs> and then we put in reinstall where applicable. Now it's weird here, it says it's got one, two, and three mud guard, splash shield. We haven't even put it back on yet. Rear splash shield. Now You'd think they'd have them numbered in order, but they don't. So I'd be putting that in first. So I'd be doing your front splash, sh splash shield, your rear splash shield, and then your mud guard. That's all right. The instructions are still pretty good. You just gotta remember the way you put them there. Bubba, let's grab all the shit. Okay, now we've got the snorkel on. There it is. We're going to take it for a drive. Okay, people, because we're dodgy video artists <laughs> um, we have to add a couple more things in that we missed in the video because we were tired so basically where you bolt that bracket onto your snorkel and you use that to actually mark it on the vehicle so you know your position for that little bracket on your um, A pillar little template there I don't know if I showed all that either but we did definitely missed showing how to mark the position of it and then you use your template to mark that Bob's your uncle also attach that to the snorkel firstly and the other part we missed is using the actual rivet um, rivet nut gun you can buy them I, I just borrowed one from a friend but yeah you can buy them from Bunnings and other places like that then we keep continuing in the mist, mist saga but the other thing is this is easier to see on the instructions is when you fit your snorkel on you've then actually got to, this is pretty well like an x-ray, you've got to get um, inside there and get your fingers in to get the bolts on the back of the snorkel, which is not that easy, you can see it, see it there, it's got the bolts, and you need really, really small hands to get in there, so probably get the kids to do that. And then of course you need to get a tool in there, a socket or a spanner to tighten it up. And I think that's it. I think we actually put the rest in the old video. I think we got all this stuff in the video, didn't we, Bubba? Mm. Yeah. So continue to watch the video and all the amazement and awesomeness that we do.